the car now. We pulled out the old unit and we installed our replacement that we programmed on the bench. Now we're going to connect up and we're going to program the transmission code, which is on a sticker right here under the air cleaner box and uh, do a parameter reset and that's it. it should crank right up. Guys, now we're going to do a parameter reset with uh, the IM608. You can do this with IDS too, but it's just uh, faster with uh, the IM608. Alright, we're going to select Ford. Uh, I'll do an auto. Okay, that's our VIN we programmed in. Okay. Uh, Ford Fusion uh, 10 Lakey. Okay. Hot function. Uh, let's see, we might have to go into here. Mobilizer, parameter reset, ignition is already on, yes, alright, I'll bring you back in a second, it might be faster, less than the 10 minutes, so let's see, alright, it took just about the 700 seconds, so now we should be able to start the car, off start there we go all right now we're gonna have to reprogram the characteristics for the transmission uh, let me check uh, I'm gonna just for SNGs checking the IM60 but it's a programming event so it's gonna have to pretty much 90% chance be done with the IDS so we're going to diagnostic side forward we're gonna go into the uh, a little auto we already got it programmed correctly except for the transmission characteristics. All right. Just trying to get into the PCM to see what options that are here. Let's see, programming. That beep you heard is when it tries to access certain modules. That PMI, let's go programmable. No. And under PMI, this is what we got. So no, we gotta do this uh, pretty much through IDS. I went ahead and pulled out the port from the little slot so I can get to pin 13. So this is 16, 15, 14, 13. I'm going to tap into it with the uh, our power injector. Of course, the link is going to be in the description if you need this. One, two, three, four. So with a $100 interface, you can program any Ford vehicle that uses the FEPS line. So that brown cable is where we're going to tap into with the uh, power injector for 18 volts. And now we're going to connect up IDS. So what we did, the red output, we went ahead and just connected it to a wire. And then we're going to back probe to and connect into pin 13 the brown wire there all right so we got our vcx nano hooked up and we're back to ids so we can teach in the solenoid tell it hit the check mark ignition is on and this is us check
Okay, it's read the one that's in there, which of course is wrong. Up here, I've uh, copied and uh, basically written down what the correct one is. Okay. Like, no. programmable parameters to do that. Put the key back on. And we're gonna hit module programming. Transmission. Mission is on. Please wait. Oh, let me connect to the internet. All right, I'm connected. All right, so now we're going to enter the correct values that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and turn our 18 volts. We got the information in. Tell it OK. Yes. OK. Downloaded the file successfully. Confirm. Ignition is on. All right, it's in process, boys. Again, we have our 18 volt supply on. If it was not on, we would not get this erasure prompt because um, it would not see the signal to trigger the PCM. bring it back correction guys you do not have to do the parameter reset i forgot to turn off the 18 volt supply which is necessary because it keeps keep it will keep the ecu in programming mode that's why the security light was on turn it off and we're good to go so there it is yeah there it is all good boys like and subscribe see you on the next one if you didn't know how to do this now you know, and guess what? Knowing is half the battle, boys.